Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I am playing the twin stick action roguelike shooter I See Red. I know very little about this game. I liked the look of the art style. It seemed very over the top. It's only had a few reviews on Steam so far. It really hasn't get, garnered a lot of attention even though it's been out for about a month. But I thought it looked cool enough to give a try. I like the way you just punched that roof off. That was a real show-off move. I bet you there's a release somewhere under the hood that he could have pulled. That's pretty badass, though. Like, splattering the logo on the wall. Really setting the, the tone for the game there pretty early on. Oh! Is there not even a menu? It literally just drops you straight into the game. That's a little unexpected. Uh, kind of cool, though. Although, <laughs> like, if you had any interest in playing around with settings or anything, I guess that's not happening. Oh, I actually do have to, like, target him. I was kind of just aiming beyond him. Switch between weapons. Besides your infinite pistol, you can carry another weapon. I'm, I'm waiting to see what these little codexes... Maybe those are just reminders or whatever. I Maybe I can target past him, but it's more accurate to actually point at him. So there's the infinite pistol and whatever this is. Oh, it's a, a melee weapon. Okay, I wasn't actually, I hadn't actually selected it. Throw the hook. Ooh, get over here. Oh, I went to him. That's not what I was expecting at all. Really ruined the whole thing I was trying to do. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> you picked up a key card. It can be used to open up a door. How do I exit one of these once it shows it to me? I escape, I guess. Oh, I did not expect to pick that up. I'm, I'm trying to do it again. There, there we go. That's kind of cool. I like the idea that you could just bash an enemy up with that real, real good. Ooh, all kinds of things to pick from now all of a sudden. Big, huge splattering scatter shot. I like the, the scatter shot shotgun thing first. Uh, does, does it have infinite am Oh, maybe the ring around my cursor is showing me how much ammo there is. I wasn't really sure where to, like, look to learn that information. Remember, some boxes can drop all sorts of things when destroyed. If I throw a box into a box, nice, it breaks both boxes. That's, that's perfect. Uh, use your current defensive consumable. In this case, it is the med kit. Oh, is that not my health, maybe? Or my health is under me. There's, like, a shield and a health thing. The, the game doesn't tell you a lot going in. That was adrenaline. So let's fire that up. Did I do it? I th think I did. More of those same weapon types. Uh, grenades. Oh, I can only hold one at a time, though. But it gave me a few, so I can mess around with them. It's, like, pretty, pretty limiting to only be able to carry one at once. Oh, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for some guys to be summoned so I could start chucking crates at their heads. Yeah, that's just too satisfying to not do. Even if it's going to put me in a position to just get smoked. Oh, that weapon is real strong, though. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm running low on ammo. I, do you know what? It, it just it like just gave me the, the grenade. Probably that was a room designed around throwing a grenade into... <laughs> Oh, that's that gun is out of ammo. I think that's that picture is how it's keeping track of ammo. Oh yeah, it literally just threw it. It threw the gun away because there was no more ammo to be to be used there. Right, wherever you do get summoned, I have a dash move. Oh come on, I, I don't I don't want to use it against him. The grenade, I mean, not nearly enough. Have anything going on for that guy for that to feel like a good option that's that's where the grenade should be used and press to unleash your inner rage and become even stronger oh there is where you start to see red i see all kinds of red now at that point basically everything all sorts of red more than you could even imagine i guess i should have kept pressing forward the room just kind of ended <laughs> That seems bad. Yes, very explosive. Don't want to get all up in that. I think I... Oh, look, it's the, a Lego Death Star. Increase melee damage by three. 
That's kind of neat. Press to check your stat screen and see what sort of passive stuff you've grabbed. Life not in a great place. Melee damage, movement speed, space coins. They didn't want to call them like, I don't know, zoins or something. I feel like games always come up with silly little ways of like identifying these sorts of things. Uh, I don't have a clue what I just picked up. I don't know what that means. How, how do, can I like check that? Okay, Okay. Right, here, there's more things here. The rage meter explained. The pistol and the submachine. Um, the explosive mine, hologram, and that's, that's all I really got right now, I guess. I don't know how to exit that. There we go. Okay, there's quite a few things here to be looked over. If you want to, I feel like roguelike games are usually built, especially an action one like this, are built in a way where you're supposed to just kind of keep pushing through with things. Oh, see, what am I swapping out here? That is the grenade, like a motion grenade, and this is like, I don't know, a throwable dagger or something? Is that what I'm picking up? I I get it. I get the idea of uh, introducing things, like, slowly and let give people a chance to get used to them. Adrenaline doesn't heal you, so that was basically useless. There we go. Nice uh, uh, full-on health station. I did desperately need something like that. It's a, a bold move from the developers to have, like, no hand-holding and let you just, like, run with it. A bold move and honestly not sure if I recommend it that much. Because I'm still getting a pretty, like, full-on tutorial along the way. God, tutorials are just impossible to balance, aren't they? Thought that would be fun to throw. So far, the weapon management and stuff is, like... I'm not a fan. I, I don't like when I, I can't, like, readily see that stuff. There's that whole out-of-mind, out-of-sight mentality with UI, where it literally only shows you things that are going to be immediately relevant to you. Do you know what's funny? With the, this color scheme and everything, it's a little bit madness-esque, isn't it? Wow, that's a hardcore weapon. I'm super into that. Yes, yeah, so the ring around my thing is for sure... Uh, my yeah that was satisfying oh god i'm trying i'm trying to do too many things at once there's like a lot of buttons to actually keep track of <laughs> like not that many but just enough to mess me up now and again um god i've lost track with where i was going with that thought there's too much going on here now i'm gonna go for the big executing blow yeah, it just takes a minute to get used to a game like this when it's going to show you so few things just like readily in like a UI. So it's clean, but it's going to take me a minute to get used to it. And I'm okay. I'm okay with things like pickups and all that being hidden in my menu, but it is a little irritating when I don't even know if I have a grenade or a med kit on hand. Like... They just, that, that information isn't available on the screen anywhere. And so a few times a thing drops on the ground and I don't know if it's uh, an adrenaline thing or a new baton or a, a throwing dagger or whatever. So you pick it up not knowing if it's going to replace your uh, consumable, your health thing or your weapon. And so that's, that's, that gets the heart of it is I just don't know what I have ever. That's the part that's been trickiest for me. I have not been using my dash lost sight of that very quickly. There's something going on over there. I I am into the idea of this tutorial. It threw things at you pretty quickly, but I think they wanted you to get in the game pretty quickly. <laughs> and now I kind of, I like the idea of having this like cinematic transition. Start introducing a little bit more of the story. They're like Ultron-esque, those red eyes. Wow, they sure did get messed up. Yeah, you get, you get out of here. Go put a shirt on. Are you a robot? I think that's a cyborg. It's a thick cyborg, isn't it? It's got a whole ass set up there. I don't want to mess with them. Oh, are you just straight up missing an arm? My man. 
When did that happen? <laughs> I, guess, I, can, I guess I can predict or assume when that happened, but I didn't realize that, that much damage had been done. Yikes. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Our little cyborg buddy's already getting us jacked up here. Ooh. So now I'll permanently have the hook hand? Because I feel like it was introduced as something you pick up. <laughs> Pretty accurate with that thing for a first time using it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't go doing that. Uh, there... The tutorial was really quick. Shoot things, two weapons, uh, med kits, grenades, you have this hook hand, you can dash. And all of that, I'm, I'm glad they got it over with quickly, but it, it might take me a minute, and I'm probably going to make mistakes, like, basically forgetting that I have the dash button. Uh, I wish that F also exited these screens, because it's stupid to have to reach over to the escape key when F, F doesn't do anything in this menu. If, it, if it's going to do nothing here, then just make it the exit button so I don't have to, like, jump around the keyboard. Just a little bit of general UX recommending there. Watch the hook indicator. After a certain number of kills, you can perform a brutal murder on an enemy to instantly kill them. This simultaneously heals you. All right, apparently we weren't done with the tutorial yet. I hate when I don't have the choice to close those myself. It, it plays at whatever speed it wants. I'm just stuck watching it. You can perform a brutal murder without using the hook's charge by hooking enemies that are constantly blinking. And when it goes away on its own, like what if it goes away before I'm done reading it? What if I want to like read it again, you know? The brutal murder is a, is a cool ass idea. But that's, it's such a pet peeve of mine. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to interact with that or what, what that means. Uh, but I, I, I there's just small grievances that are coming up. And you can grab anything with the hook, including boxes, consumables, weapons, and so on. You can activate certain buttons. Uh, actually, what, what do you want me to do with that? I just grabbing both boxes doesn't seem to be what you're what you're after. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but enough of these broke. There we go. I, I, I messed something up in the game there where they started generating below ground and weren't popping back up. Throughout your invasions, you will get printing matter that you can spend in different places. For instances, the cloning machine where you can upgrade yourself. That's not really how cloning works, is it? <laughs> I guess unless you upgrade a new version of yourself and you just die and you're gone, you just destroy the original body and bring back a new one with some upgrades. Maybe that's how that works. No, it's it's good, but uh, it's the same. Nothing. Uh, I, I, it makes sense that I didn't have anything to spend. Ooh, if, just with tab, with the tab button, which it never explained to me. I can see how much money I have, that I am carrying a grenade, and that I have a, a health kit. So that information is there, but it never told me that. I don't know what I did to make this come down. This is here all of a sudden. I guess I'm going zooming away, but what did I do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I'm being pretty critical of this, but I currently have no idea what's going on. I know enough to kind of progress. And I don't even mean from like a story perspective. I don't care if this game has like a deep story or not. A lot of games don't need it. I, I'll go check the whiteboard. It's made by whiteboard games. So, okay, that's kind of like a funny little gag. I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I probably don't want to go to sleep. I could watch cock tea. <laughs> so it begins the way out and pox. I, can I actually watch these? I don't really want to. Playing this film will replay the prologue level. No, no, I don't want that at all. <laughs> I guess, I guess if you want to jump forward to different parts of the game as you've like unlocked them or what have you. Sector 1, Area 1, fleeing, unexplored, and explored. Well, I, I have the two options right now. Search analysis, coincidentally this newly introduced model of the S1 scouting was assigned to the same sector where it was created. And a battleship, one of the newest ships to come to the Gamma system. 
possible value, possible threat. I will go to the one with the lower threat. <laughs> that seems like the much, much safer approach. Very uh, Star Wars-y cockpit of the Millennium Falcon hyperspace sort of thing there. Especially when I, the proximity mine or whatever on the ground reminded me of the Millennium Falcon. Just like hairs of influences making their way in. Pretty epic transition there actually and that just rockets back away again the like destructibles collapsing around me oh that's pretty damn cool i do i actually have no i i believe if i'm understanding correctly that when i tab into this like i don't actually have anything it's showing me that that's where my med kit and and stuff would be oh crap yeah, just chuck that straight at his brain. <laughs> just shockingly effective. Oh, if anything else came, I had that explosive barrel lined up waiting for them. I don't... That's just another thing to toss. The, all of those are the same. There's It is dropping so, so many of those. Like, every single thing I kill. I guess they're probably dropping the literal weapons they were carrying... There. Now, 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 now it shows. Okay. That's, that makes sense. Totally can wrap my head around that. Oh, is there like a, a lower floor down there? Can I hop down to it somehow? Maybe not immediately. Maybe there's like an elevator. I, I want to, I want to check it out. Show me more. I better switch to the pistol for a second again. Oh, I think my gun can, like, overheat, maybe, is what just happened there. Nice. Got my first, like, super special execution. Oh, picking up the weapons from a distance when you lose your weapon is kind of dope. I do like that, actually. There is so much stuff scattered around the room. Like, I don't, I don't need all of this. And I, I, I definitely don't need 14 of the same weapon. <laughs> That's like a little excessive and it's cluttering things up. Printing matter obtained. Nice. Okay, I got some of that. Could spend an upgrade. <laughs> Wrong thing. Nope, neither of that is what I wanted to do. Hmm. That swapped out my grenade. I still haven't really even tried to use this knife. Uh, how does that work? It, it is just a throwing knife and you can pick it back up. A kite. <laughs> things that actually have color. Maybe they have, like, memories or, or things attached to them to expand the lore a little bit? That was a little trippy and weird, and then it, it just disappeared after? Intriguing. Okay, so I don't know what that is. It's a type of grenade, I'm guessing. I'll, I'm going to pick up the proximity one. Oh, I, I, okay, that's how I go downstairs, I guess. <laughs> Like a meeting room? Obtained. Damn, I think it was literally just about to explain something to me, but it it was a little slow to pick up and I managed I accidentally like clicked past it. So I do want to see. Here we go. Economic bubble rare. For every 400 space coins you hold, your damage reduction increases by one. To the moon! <laughs> to the moon economic bubble space. Okay, it took me a second. Cryptocurrency. It's pretty funny. Relatively funny. <laughs> I, okay, I nearly have 400 coins. I was thinking, like, that's a high-ass bar to set. But if at this point, yeah, just keep spawning one at a time like this. Wow, I missed almost entirely point blank. Like, if this is the rate at which you accumulate money, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, that's really not bad. Wow, do I ever not want to see one of those batons ever again. At least not that many all the time, always. Oh, come on. I, w I really, really want to <laughs> try to kill one of them w by throwing one of those dinky-ass little boxes at them. I figured going for the hit, the hook kills would be extra fun. And let's chuck a med box at your brain. Oh, I, some of them, some of them you can instantly do, like, a murder kill on. Just the first time they even show up, it's already an option. I, 
guess I guess I stick with what I got. I, I'll, I'll heal up the, the tiniest bit. Not necessary, but that sure is a lot of boxes. So many boxes. I'm obviously just going to go 100% box kills then, right? It's just as long as I'm not hugging too close to a wall. Yeah, just keep coming. You can try and run straight through the boxes, but really you're just running yourself straight into where I was planning to go anyways. You're, you're creating a shorter distance between the two of you. Okay, but then that guy dropped like a rail gun or something and it seemed really cool, so I wanted to shoot that a few times. <laughs> the the rail gun is dope. That's hard to hard to turn down. I took uh, quite a lot of pretty stupid damage there, I believe. I was busy just kind of bombing around, having a, a, a gay old time. So, so all that is, is my own doing. I probably should have tried a little bit more self-preservation. I don't think I really have like a map to go off of, do I? Oh, big, big unit with a shield, seemingly. I... <laughs> That kind of saved me a little bit. I managed to dash into, like, a, a safe place. Oh, oh God. All right, I, I got to start making better use of dashes, especially fighting a guy with that big-ass item. Yeah, you just crash into a wall. You, you injure yourself. Make things a little easier on myself there, why don't you? <laughs> Throwing... Oh, he, sh he shot the bear out of, out of the air, I think, and made it explode. Before it reached him. Whoa! Okay, that was point blank there. Managed to throw it right into him and blow it up on my own face. New data unlocked passive burning cannon. So that would be something new that I could find going on another run. Ah, uh, yeah, man, that was my own undoing. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, here, here's the new version of us being respawned in. There, I didn't really get to spend anything. Achievement, can't die, new passive, print life. Can we just chat? Can we hang out? Get to know each other? Increase max health by 50 and your damage reduced by 5. Reduce damage received from explosives. That would be real nice to have. And drastically increase the spawn chance of epic and legendary loot boxes. I didn't survive the run, so I didn't get to take any of the, the printing material with me. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Can't do anything with that. I was curious if that kite I found would appear here or anything. I guess that's probably a representation of my, sh my ship, right? Uh, you, you can take a look at a few different stats. Skills used none, apparently. Uh, coins, quite a, quite a lot of things. Time spent in rage mode. I, I imagine you can, like, sustain rage mode by killing more things. That's usually pretty common in a mechanic like that. Will you talk to me over here? Are you just gonna tell me the same little layout of things? Yeah, we can't, can't do any of that right now. Well, that was a pretty not great first run, I gotta say. The game seems good. It's, uh, obviously I'm being a little complainy here. Maybe I'm in the, the wrong mood or any or something, because the game is polished. It looks great. The art direction is solid. I dig the, the style and everything behind it. But it was kind of just like, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I didn't get deep enough into it. But I, I struggled with so many weird, annoying little things in the UI and, like, uh, just just a few bits of clunkiness that were kind of affecting my experience and so I don't mean to be so harsh on it but it's kind of like if you don't want to hold my hand fine but everything has to be so intuitive and at times I was pretty confused and so half of my time split spent playing the game was wondering what I was meant to be doing or what I'm meant to be doing is simple you know just ah, I, I hate I hate this feeling I don't like to be this critical of a game when I've spent this little time in it. So, you know, I'm not going to post a formal review or anything. I'll leave it at that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.